Unit Nine: Blonde Ambition: The Hair Color Politics and Leadership. April fifteenth. Have you ever seen a dumb blonde meme on Instagram, or a silly blonde in movies? For ages, blondes have been the subject of stereotypes, often portrayed as less intelligent or more focused on looks than their non-blonde peers. However, the rise of blonde female leaders nowadays is challenging these cliches. Some figures, such as the first female justice of the U.S. Supreme Court and the first female presidential candidate. Serve as proof of this trend. Given this evolution, it raises the question: Is there more to blonde hair than meets the eye? Interestingly, data reveals that many women in leadership roles today have blonde hair that is often dyed. On the other hand, male leaders don't exhibit such a trend in hair color. This leads to a question. If blondes once symbolized a lack of intelligence, why are some female leaders now going blonde on purpose? A study from the University of British Columbia provides some insights. In an experiment, researchers presented 100 men with photos of both blonde and brunette women paired with commanding quotes. The brunettes were more often perceived as seeming unpleasant or bossy, while the blondes scored higher on warmth and appeal because of existing stereotypes. Blondes' friendly image is considered to soften the blow of commanding behavior. That's why, in leadership roles, experts think some women might use social perceptions to their advantage and lessen criticism through their hair color. The fact that even top-level women sometimes alter their appearance to fit in underlines a deeper issue. There's a substantial journey ahead in the pursuit of gender equality, but let's hope for a day when every woman, blonde, brunette, or otherwise, can openly be herself.